What is up, YouTube? Jiggy Sparks back at it again with the white vans. And today we have a special guest, the, the only Nate. Go subscribe to his YouTube channel. Yep, it's pretty cool. I have to admit, pretty cool. Okay, okay. okay. And today is our first edition of the Sports World, where we just talk about sports, football, basketball, baseball, maybe not baseball. Football. So today we're going to talk about the NBA, we're going to talk about some underrated and overrated players, talk about players in general, and we're going to talk about like the playoffs and the championship, who's oh, yeah. going to make it. So, t so today we are, we're going to talk about some underrated and overrated right now. And Nate, who do you think is underrated? Um, I underrated. Uh, Bradley. I say Bradley Beal. Uh, underrated player. Greg Monroe. <laughs> Greg Monroe. Can't remind me. Um, they just. I mean, you don't see them in the highlights a lot. I mean, they're good. Um, especially Bradley Beal because he's like just with John Wall and they're just doing it. But the Wizards in general, they haven't had as great of a season as they were supposed to. Back to you, James. <laughs> Some players I think CJ McCollum and um Harrison Barnes. Barnes in that great um Warriors team does not get as much attention as Curry and Thompson and Draymond and even Andrew Bogut. Um, he's definitely one of the better players on the team. Yeah, you saw him hit that game-winning shot against the Sixers. Oh my gosh! <laughs> and, and we're, we're Sixers fans. Well, at least me. I mean, I hate he, the Sixers. He, he, he'll kill no. Me if I say um. He. Anyway, but he definitely doesn't get as much attention as he should. Also, C.J. McCollum, the Blazers aren't the best team, and w without LaMarcus Aldridge, Damian Lillard really has to carry them. C.J. McCollum definitely helps Lillard, though, just because he's pretty decent. I mean, he can hit threes and has nice handles. I got another person, Danny Green. He is pretty underrated. I mean, the Spurs, they have just... Once they got, what's his face, Marcus Aldridge, they were like, they they've just they've just been amazing. But you know, Danny Green, he's just one of those players because all the players are good on the Spurs. I mean, and he's he can hit threes. He's decent. Yeah. I mean, um, some overrated players. I have to go with Andrew Wiggins and Serge Ibaka. Andrew Wiggins, the Timberwolves aren't good, which makes him look better. But still, they're not good. And Carl Anthony Towns is just ten times better as a young player. Mm -hmm. Wiggins, he can't really shoot. Maybe I mean he can dunk, but he's he not. Can. He's not Go a stats. great player. All right, all right. Wait, let's ask Siri. Siri, is Andrew Wiggins good? To whom should I send your message? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, no, no. Okay, that was a fail. Seriously. Okay. Okay. Serge Ibaka, you know, you had he was pretty good when they made that finals run. He just dropped down so much, mm -hmm. but he's still at he, he's one up the, there. He's in the middle. He's like in the middle, but he's still like too overrated by the by people. Oh man, they, they, they think he's they think he's he, he yeah. With Kevin Durant and Westbrook, as much as he can, he has the potential to be very good. And he used to be. He just hasn't been the same, and people still rank him very high. Yeah. Oh, am I up? Okay. Yeah. My overrated players, uh, I'm going to have to say Victor Aldebo and Clay Thompson. Victor Aldebo, he, he's, he's supposedly the leader, I would say, of supposedly the leader of the Magic. I mean, since Dwight Howard left, he's been, it's just been, like, up to him. Now, who do they, they, they do have Vucevic, I think I said that right, Vukovic. Vucevic. Vucevic. 
Um, but, you know, he's, like, center. But Victor Aldipo, I mean, he hit a game-winning three one time this year. He was good. I mean, and people have just been saying that's why he's so good. But, I mean, he has the, – he can The Magic good. guard play in general is not very good. Yeah. I mean, they've lost so many players that they used to be good. Yeah. And your other one? Uh, Clay Thompson. Um, he can hit threes. He – but he's he's trusted with a three, but I mean I think Curry Curry's just like their leader of that team, and people are like, yeah, Clay Thompson should have his own shoe. Like really, he shouldn't have his own shoe if he can hit a few threes. I mean, he's he's a great shooter. He's a good shooter, and I honestly think he's pretty centered and overrated, underrated. But he doesn't really have the skill on like defense, and he doesn't really have great. He's like, skills he's and like offense. I guess he can oh. drive. Curry, Curry can like just work everywhere. He's a great defender. He can like layups all around. It's not just threes. Call, call. Got blocked by Kyrie last year. <laughs> oh, okay. I have another overrated player, James Harden. I think so too. Just this year though, the Rockets have not been doing well. They've been doing garbage. They're like at five hundred. They're not. Mm-hmm. They're barely at five hundred. So, before we start going to the playoffs, I've decided to give Nathan a speed round on overrated and underrated players right right now. We have six of them. Your first one, I don't think I spelled it right. Isaiah Thomas. What do I have to say about him? Is he underrated or overrated? Um, Why? I say... I say he's underrated. I mean, he's just not really on the... He's just not there to the Celtics, but he's still good. He's not. He's he's kind of the leader of the team. I mean, they have a bunch of good players. They just don't use really them. But Isaiah can't. Isaiah Thomas, not can. Isaiah Thomas is like they're really good point guard. I mean, what was he like five nine? He's really short, and he's he's just more of an all around player. Yeah, I'm pretty. Was he, he was on an All Star team, right? Yeah, this year he was. Yeah, and he really doesn't get looked at too much. Amazon Next one, yeah. Damian Lillard. Uh, I say Damian Lillard is pretty overrated. I, I mean, you suck. What? Oh, I love Damian Lillard. I mean, I I love, I love Damian Lillard. I just think people have so much potential. Like they they think he has a lot of potential. I mean, he does have a lot of pot- potential. He's just like I don't know how to say it. Would you say he's underrated? I would say he's pretty centered. Yeah, he's. I would I say he's. Se- I he's pretty centered. centered. He's not overrated. I think he's kind of overrated because he hasn't been really able to carry his team yeah. without Aldridge. With Aldridge, he would have been amazing. Just perfectly rated. He was. I mean, he's doing a lot better than he is, but he's still not able to carry his team. He's he just needs. He needs more players. Next one we have Dwight Howard. Oh God, <coughs> Dwight Howard. People, when he went to the Rockets, people thought the Rockets were gonna be like one of the best teams because they had one of the best centers in the NBA. Well, I'm sorry to say he's not. Because I mean, he's just one of those players where people thought he would be good, but he didn't really turn out very well. Dwight Howard, he th- he doesn't really like it there in Houston. I mean, he thought it'd be all good last year, but I say. Um, He's this year. He's been. He hasn't been very well. He's been kind of underrated. But I mean, when people liked him, he was, yeah, you know. He was definitely better on the Magic. Yeah. He's, he's terrible on the Lakers. Her. But Her. he's been kind of up. Her. He's kind of up and down on the Rockets. Um, the Rockets have not been go- doing good this season, and I I kind of get why they would trade him. They. What would be a good team? The Knicks? No, not the Knicks. Yeah, the Knicks. Oh, only James. Um, probably no. no not the, about, the Rock? No. Oh my God, I can't nuggets. think. Nuggets. Oh. Nuggets would probably Nuggets and Jazz, but they don't have anybody to give back. Okay, next one, Paul George. Oh, overrated. No, nah, I, I don't know, because I mean, we're last, central. Yeah, he's central because last year. No one thought he would come back because of that leg. <clears throat> um, that leg at the All-Star game. I think it was the All-Star game, right? Uh, 
USA game. USA practice. USA. <coughs> practice. Yeah. I, no one thought he would come back. But, I mean, over the summer, and just, he's just, like, put it, and now this, he's just put it to the potential. He's amazing now. Um, also, he's on the all-star team. Um, probably he'll be in the USA team. Oh, uh, yeah. 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 Hopefully he won't break his leg again. Um, but he's just one of those central players. He was underrated, and now he's just letting it out. Okay, I was going to have one, but now I'm going to save the best for last. Don't don't be in Jacob's mom. Okay, Max. <laughs> Max, we're shooting a YouTube video. Bye, Max. Here. Come on, Max. This is Max. Say, say hi. Hey, ugly pants. <laughs> okay, good out, Max. Max, Go. Max, who's your favorite NBA player? Um... James Mast. James Mast? Okay. I'm LeBron ready. James. Okay, let's go, Max. You want some candy? You want some candy? <laughs> I have some candy. No, Max. I'm, I'm sorry I, for I have, some, I have some candy, Max. You Max. gotta take the towel off. Max, oh, they candy. turn off the lights. Oh, he's closing the house. No, no. <laughs> oh, oh my Max. god, guys. And what, and what does this look like, James? Your mother. <laughs> I am so sorry, guys. Hey guys what's up? Well, you, you, got, here. you guys got the max, unfortunately, <laughs> in that way. I'm I'm surprised he didn't like cuss or anything. Uh, so we're gonna save the best for last. Right now, we're gonna go Kyle Lowry. Ooh, okay. But this, this is the year, last one. No, he has been beast. Okay, him and Demar Derozan are probably the best. Like, t like two people backcourt. Backcourt, best backcourt in the whole NBA right now, I would say. I mean, he doesn't get a lot of attention. He doesn't. He doesn't. Get he a gets lot the of job done. The Raptors are one of the best teams in the NBA right now. Yeah, and I mean, Demar Derozan doesn't get a lot either. He doesn't. Demar Derozan just can't shoot. Kyle Rowley can sh he can shoot, shoot all the time. I mean, Demar Derozan he can dunk. I mean, Demar Derozan is a great all around player. Same with Lowry. Yeah. Okay, our last one. I told you I was saving the best for last. Carmelo Anthony. Oh! Uh, uh, okay. James, close your ears. <laughs> I say he's kind of overrated. I mean, people. I mean, you you probably saw the video with the New York New York Knicks. I mean, when they got Chris Al Porzingis, there was a kid crying. I mean, now people. I mean, he's good now. I mean, him and Chris Al Porzingis are getting the job done. They're just not a good, really good team in the East right now. Yeah, they're not. I mean, they're not really great. They're going to be a team of the future. They're going to build up in the off season. So we don't have that much time left because I can't go over so much. I mean, that's no. I don't know why. You just got an email from Victoria's Secret. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Okay, I don't care. So let's go. Your predictions, playoffs. My predictions. I think the Raptors are going to make the finals. Yeah. I don't think the Cavs are going to make it. No. I don't oh. think the Cavs. I think the Cavs yeah. are too. Highly overrated. They are. And I think the Warriors... Oh, I think it's going to be Spurs. I think the Spurs will upset the Spurs, Warriors. Spurs, Spurs, Ra no, I mean, Spurs, 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 Raptors. Spurs, Raptors. Raptors. That's I think the Spurs are winning it all. Really? I do. Okay, I think the Celtics are a competing team. I mean, they... The I don't think they can get the job done against the Cavs or Raptors. True. I mean... All right, who do you think? Does anyone know the first round... Of the playoffs? Yeah, the playoffs season hasn't even finished yet. I know, still. All right. Speed round, you have five seconds. For who? For who? Who are you thinking? Five? Uh, Toronto Raptors. I'm going to say Toronto Raptors and OKC. Who's winning? Uh, Raptors. Okay. okay. Raptors. And right before we go, who do you think's winning March Madness? I got Villanova. 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 Hey. Thank you guys for watching. And my motto, don't forget to buckle your seatbelt. Buckle!